Republican House candidate J.R. Majewski is struggling in his campaign in Northwest Ohio. The 42-year-old Republican first launched into fame by painting Donald Trump into his lawn and raised eyebrows last year with a rap video attacking Joe Biden. Joe is focused on ice cream while he's crapping his pants. We want our dreams and our freedom. This is our last chance. Majewski is now in hot water again, facing accusations that he lied about being deployed to Afghanistan after 9-11, when in fact he served away from combat. Majewski says the documents proving that he saw combat are top secret. In fact, the orders and the military records that I've been able to obtain from my personal files shows that all of my deployments are listed as classified. Yeah, that's right, people. He cannot prove that he was in combat because all of the records are classified. And I believe him. Man, I, I, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> I have. When I was in middle school, my girlfriend was classified too, and it sucks. She was so hot, guys. I wish you could have seen her, but oh, man. She was so classified. Mm. Well, for real, if you, if you weren't in active combat, you can't just say you were in active combat especially to get elected. Right. At a dinner party, we get it. You know, I killed bin Laden. Ooh. <laughs> but lying about it in active combat isn't just disrespectful to all the troops who are actually in active combat. It's also extremely misleading to the voters, right? If you're gonna say you're doing top secret combat in Afghanistan and you can't show it to us, you should at least have to prove it, you know? You should have to do some SEAL Team 6 shit in front of us. <laughs> yeah, like the guy standing next to you. Just snap his neck on stage. <laughs> Now, then I'll believe you. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, shit, did you see that? Oh! And then the guy I'm talking to, his head slides off his body. I'm like, ah! <laughs> but it looks like this guy wasn't in active combat, and he didn't kill anything, other than that rap music video. That was a... <laughs> rap did not survive that video. Rest in peace, hip-hop. Oh, we will remember you. We will remember you. All right, but let's move on to some international news, because America isn't the only country in the world. You know, there's like 10 others. <laughs> Three weeks ago, the UK was introduced to its new prime minister, Liz Truss, who announced that she was gonna get Britain back on track. She just didn't mention which way the track would be going. <laughs> this morning, uh, the British pound plunged nearly 5% to a record low against the US dollar. Levels like this not seen since the 80s. This amid growing fears of instability in the UK. Friday, British officials announced the largest tax cuts in 50 years while also boosting government borrowing and spending. Worries there, this will be inflationary. This seems to be a, a, a vote of, uh, of no, no support for the new government here, and it's a big, ambitious plans announced late last week. Yeah, so here's what happened. Liz Truss introduced a round of tax cuts for the wealthy, and in response, the British currency has collapsed, which is not what they wanted. Yeah. And at some point, can we admit that even lifelong politicians don't actually know what they're doing? Right? Can, can we admit that? We, we just assume they have some idea of the way things work, but they just, they just run things the way we used to play Mortal Kombat, you know? Just, just hit all the buttons and hope for a fatality. Come on, Liu Kang, come on! I actually feel bad for Liz Truss, because this was the first bill that she proposed, and it tanked the entire economy. <laughs> can you imagine being prime minister and your first idea, your first idea, everyone's like, oh, you blew it, you wanker! <laughs> oh, sell all of our money. It's worthless now. Thanks, Liz. 